What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another tutorial on this look right here, which was inspired, um, well, a recreation of a girl I found on Instagram. Her name is Ruthie and it's so dope. It's right here. I'm gonna leave it on screen as well. But it's such an interesting technique that I've not seen before where well, I'll explain it when I'm doing the tutorial, but I hope you guys like this look. I'm really, really into it. I just love the little techniques that I use today and just like the look overall. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, definitely keep on watching. All right, so I've laid some tape down because we need some sharpness on the outer corner because the look we're doing today is actually um, taken from Ruthie. I found her on Instagram and this look just... Uh, took me back it's just so beautiful you can see it's just really really simple smoky and just beautiful the the shimmer on the eyelid the really light smokiness of the outer corner and the inner corner which is what i was most interested about this look because you guys know i do a really smoky outer corner that's sharp that way all the time but i've never done anything that's added in the inner corner like that i'm going to attempt it and see how it comes out. So the palette I'm going to be using for this look is actually a new palette from NARS. It's this one right here, it's called Skin Deep, and it's just full of beautiful mattes and a few shimmers on the lower corner right there, and I think it's perfect for this look. So we're just gonna go into this palette and start off with the smokiness. I'm going to also link her down below because her page is beautiful, and she does some really, really interesting looks, so go check her out. So I'm taking my Smith, 247 brush it's really small and tapered and i'm going to go in with this brown right here to start off the outer corner this brush is really really small yet fluffy so it's going to really help us in smoking out that brown on the outer corner and then we're going to use a different smaller brush for the inner corner so i'm just going in and following that tape the tape really helps because you don't really have to be neat with it you don't really have to think the way you lay down the tape just determines the way it's going to look so just place it the way you want it and then just follow the tape and brush against it halfway on the tape and halfway on your eyelid and that's just going to give you that shape so we're going to actually take it quite far up towards the brow and we're going to smoke it to the midsection of our eye. Now I'm going to go into this warmer, deeper brown right here with a pencil brush and just repeat that step. So again, we are keeping it quite low. So brush against the tape. Just so we can build up some depth. Going back into that Smith brush and just softening the edges as much as we can. Again, just repeating the process until we're happy with it. And then you can even just feather the shadow up a bit. This is also going to ensure it's nice and smoky. So now that we have that smokiness on the outer corner, we're going to attempt the same thing on the inner corner. And I'm taking the Morphe M515. It's a really, really small pencil brush. And I'm taking that first shade we used and I'm just placing it on the inner tear duct area. And don't worry if it's messy, I'm going to sharpen up with some wet wipes later, but I'm just placing that shadow in the inner corner and then trying to align it on the top of the eyelid right here against the lash line. And I'm taking that second shade, the warmer brown, and just repeating that step. So I'm just smudging it on the upper lash line and then dragging it out in the inner corner there. And then you can even take that first fluffy brush and just smudge as much as you can on the eyelid there. And I'm taking a wet wipe and I'm just wrapping it around my finger and we're just going to drag underneath that shadow so we create a nice line and that's going to look better after we apply concealer but for now just cleaning it up as much as possible so that is the sharp line we've created right there so now that i can see what it looks like i'm just going to go back with that same fluffy brush and keep blending the top section we're not touching this bit at all we want it to be nice and sharp 
we're just gonna blend upward I made mine a bit darker than hers hers is much softer much softer than mine mine is a bit intense but I like the deepness of the color so we're just gonna keep it that way how do we like it so far I'm just gonna play around with it until we like the way it looks I'm just taking that same pencil brush with whatever's left on the brush. I'm not adding any additional product. It looks a bit crazy right now. It's all right. We're going to make it work. So now that we look a little crazy, we are going to put a bunch of shimmer all over the lid. She has like a wash of shimmer all over. It doesn't look really placed on. So I'm going to be using this Huda Beauty Melted Shadow Duo. I'm using the shimmery side called Drop Top. And I'm just going to add a little bit on my finger and then just place it all over the eye. Otherwise, it's going to look too placed on. And this one is really, really intense. So you want to be careful. So I'm taking a little bit, just rubbing it on the back of my hand. So we just have a little bit of shimmer. And then I'm just going to tap it on the eyelid. You don't want to be too careful with this. You kind of just want to put it everywhere. Do you see that? Almost looks kind of wet. And it's just going everywhere. You don't want to be too precise. And these dry really quickly and they don't budge. So you want to use them quite quickly and work with them really fast. So I'm just pressing it into the eyelid. Again, not being too precise. Just kind of stamping it on. So now that we have that on, I'm actually going to leave that for the eyes for now. For the skin, I'm going to be using this primer from Sicily. It's their Instant Luminous Instant Glow Primer. It's so beautiful, guys. You can use any really dewy moisturizer that you have. I want the skin to be really glowing in this look. So I'm just going to rub that in and then press that into the skin. And you see instantly you have a really luminous base. I'm going to go in with this Natasha Denona foundation. This is the Transform Matte. It's the shade 25NY Light Neutral Yellow. I'm really pale right now, so I've had to go down a shade from my usual. So I'm just going to work that foundation into the skin with this Hourglass brush. And just press it in. Match have been pretty well, actually. This foundation is so beautiful. I actually have a foundation routine using this particular foundation and it's one of my go-tos. So if you guys haven't checked it out, you should go and have a little watch. So going in with concealer, I'm using this NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Canal? Canal? Anyways. So we're just going to place that under the eyes and just a little bit on the center of the face. Again, just using the brush to just work that into the skin. My skin has been a little bit dry recently and I never get dry. It's really strange. Just like I find the nose and then my eyelids are a little bit dry. It's very strange. I have pretty normal skin. I used to have a bit of an oily t-zone now it's more normal but it's turned a little dry but to warm up the skin i'm going to go in with a bit of a cream bronzer this one is from milk and it's in the shade baked and i'm going in with my it cosmetics this double-ended foundation brush and i'm just going to pick up some product and just go all over the skin and just warm it up especially that i'm pale but also i want to tie in those browns those warm tones from the eye onto the face and you want to do this before applying any setting powder. So just go all over the skin and warm it up with some cream bronzer. I love a cream bronzer. I just love the finish of it. It just looks so skin-like, so natural and almost airbrushed. So a little bit on the jawline. A little bit on the nose. Going in with this body glow from Natasha Denona, I'm actually going to use a little bit on the highest part of my cheekbone as a bit of a cream highlight. And this one does set quite quickly, so you have to work with it quite fast. This one is in the shade medium. Picking it up with a little bit of a fluffy brush and just going to lightly place it up here. 
and I don't want to do too much or let it dry too fast. So I'm taking my foundation brush, brush and just going over it. I'm just going to give it a bit of a glow. It's really, really intense. So you can really actually go ham with this if you wanted to. I don't want to do too much because I am going to apply a bit of a powder highlight on top so I don't want to make it too intense but it's beautiful. A little bit down the bridge of the nose and the top of the lip here, Cupid's bow. I'm taking a little bit of the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm just going to dust this all over the skin. So I'm just stamping it onto the skin. I'm going to use this duo from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Film Star Glow. Yes, Bronze and Glow. So I'm taking the bronzer on this side. Oh, oh, right here. <laughs> and I'm going in with my Smith 118 brush. And this one is a really light, beautiful bronzer. And because we already have that base, it's just going to add a little bit of definition and some depth. So we're just going to sculpt a little bit, going over the same areas. I forgot how beautiful this bronzer is. A little bit on the jawline as well. I'm going to um, just sharpen up certain areas of the face by baking. Taking that same Laura Mercier powder. I'm also going to do the sides of the nose. Cute. I'm going to do a super, super light wash of color on the lower lash line, taking that same warm brown, the second shade we use from the NARS palette. I'm literally taking a tiny brush. This is M514 from Morphe, and I'm doing only a little bit, like barely. Barely. I just want something just something that's there, not really anything that stands out, just like so. I'm using the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel. This is in the shade Grind and I'm just going to set the brows because I have yet to do that. Okay, let's do the lashes now. I'm going in with the new Marc Jacobs Duo, so they have a primer with a mascara so i'm going to try it out for the first time so i'm going to go in with the primer first so this goes on the lashes and then this is the mascara so if you can see the difference what i've noticed is it really separates my lashes it doesn't make them like crazy crazy long but then again i don't have crazy long lashes but it really has separated them and made them quite thick, which is nice. I'm going to dust away this powder. Going back in with that Charlotte Tilbury palette, I'm taking the glow shade and I'm just going to use that as a powder highlight on top of that cream we used. It's really subtle. So now that we have a couple individuals on the outer corner, literally, I just put four on the outer corner there. It doesn't look too much on camera, but in person you can tell just a little bit. And then I just went over a couple of my beauty spots and a couple of my actual spots <laughs> with a bit of a brown liner. So now we're ready to do the lips. So I'm going to go in with my, of course, the NYX eye pencil in light brown. And I'm just going to lightly line my lips. I'm going to be using this RMK Irresistible Glow Lipstick in number one. This is just one. Oh, one. And it's a very sheer, glossy lipstick. It's so nice, so moisturizing. And then I'm going to top it off with this NARS Lip Gloss in Striptease. 
So what do you guys think of the final look? I just popped on some hoop earrings. I'm really into this look. It's giving me really summer vibes. I'm so into it. This is definitely a new technique for me in terms of no shadow in the crease. Literally nothing. So it's putting me off a little bit. But I always do the sharp wing. Always. You guys see that all the time. I've never done this inner corner situation. And I've never done anything that has nothing in the crease. No definition in the crease. I'm into just the shimmer all over. Really love that Huda Beauty melted shadow. And I'm just into it. I love trying new things. So definitely check out Ruthie down in the description box. I'll leave her Instagram there. As well as all the products that I use as well. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to. I really appreciate it. So I'll love you and leave you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.